In this video, we will install the preview of the latest version of SSMS, version 21. Hello, I'm Philip Burton of idodata.com. SQL Server Management Studio, or SSMS, is the primary way a lot of people use to query data on SQL Server whether it is an SQL server on-premises, so in your network, or on the cloud, for example, Azure SQL Database or Fabric SQL Database. So I've just Googled SSMS21, and we can see that the latest version is available as a preview. At the time of recording, it was preview number four. So I'm going to install SSMS21 preview on my computer. So I'm just going to scroll down and you can see step two, determine which version of SQL Server Management Studio 21 to install. And we've got a download SSMS 21 preview hyperlink. And here you can see the bootstrap, the small program that will install everything else. So I'll click on it and the computer saying, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? I'm going to say yes. And then we get the Visual Studio installer. So I'll click continue. So it is downloading and installing the installer. Now, one of the major differences about SSMS 21 is that it uses the Visual Studio installer as opposed to its own installer. And when we open it, you'll see an interface which is more styled towards Visual Studio. Now there are four tabs. The first tab is workloads. This is more useful in Visual Studio. There are no workloads for SSMS. We've got individual components where you can check or not the help viewer. We've got language packs. So you can add additional language packs. Say you wanted English and Turkish, for instance, that's fine. And you can go to the installation locations tab to change where it installs the program. So maybe you've got a really small C drive and a really big D drive while well, you can change where it is installed by clicking on the three dots and saying I want it installing to the D drive, for example. So I'm going to click install. Now you can see it is now installing and I've previously got Visual Studio Community installed. So if you've got any versions of Visual Studio, they will be shown here as well. So why might you want to install SQL Server Management 21? Well, one of the reasons is that this is where any new features will be added. So later on this year, we'll have SQL Server 2025 and the SSMS 21 will be the version that will have the most features, the most compatibility with the latest version. It also gives a new user interface. It's described as a refreshed, modernized design with updated icons. The initial phase of dark theme, so you can have a dark window as opposed to a light window, and customizable layouts. And there are also new options within the query editor to improve efficiency when editing and managing scripts. It's got improved support for managing users and logins for Azure SQL Database. It's got integration with Git for tracking, managing, and collaborating on SQL scripts. So it's easier for multiple people to create the scripts. It's got smoother performance and improved stability. And it's also got more improvements for Azure authentication. Now, for me, the main reason why you should install SQL Server Management Studio 21 is that it will be the version that will be updated. It will have the better security, will have the better features. As for the preview version, you can install it to have a look at it. You don't necessarily need to install it as the preview, but the good news is if you do install SSMS 21, you can still have SSMS 20 and 19 on your computer. You don't just have to have the one version of SSMS. However, once the generally available version comes out, you will need to uninstall the preview version first before installing SQL Server Management Studio 21. So now let's launch this and have a look around. So first of all, we've got the splash screen. You can see that that has changed a bit. And we've also got a sign in. So this allows you to sign into a GitHub, for example, or to a Microsoft account. So I'm going to skip this for now. And after a few seconds, we then have our 
new Visual Studio interface. So let's just have a look at the differences between SSMS21 and 20 in terms of the presentation. So here we can see SSMS20. And you'll notice that it's got fewer icons. For example, it's hidden all of these different types of query buttons and just amalgamated it into the one new query button. You can also see that we don't have at the top Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio, just like we don't have Visual Studio right at the top of the window. So there's a few styling changes, but not a huge number. Now, SSMS is the front engine the thing that you use to query SQL Server. So I've previously installed SQL Server on my computer and I'm going to query it. So my server name is dot or localhost and I'm going to go to connection security and check trust server certificate and click connect. So you can see it is very similar to the SSMS20 version, albeit now in a completely new interface. So if I click on new query, then here is our new query window. And if I expand databases, we have our standard tables, views, and other nodes waiting for us to access them. Now, one thing about this new version is the search. We have got two different kinds of search. We can search through the code and we can try and find a feature. So this is similar to the search in Microsoft Word. You can look for individual words in your document or you can try and find a feature. So if I click on feature search and have a look for line numbers, here we can see where to find turn line numbers on or off. And if I double click on it, it takes me there. And that can be a huge time saver if you want to access certain functionality and you can't remember exactly where Microsoft has put it. And as I said previously, SSMS has got Git integration built in. So if you use Git to collaborate with others, you don't have to install any third-party products. Now, please note that this version, this preview version, is not 100% complete. For example, if I go to Connect, you can see that you cannot use analysis services, integration services, or reporting services at this time, whereas you can do with SSMS 20. So my advice, if you want to use the preview version, is install it, but keep SSMS 20 handy in case there are features which are not currently available in version 21. Having said that, version 21 is now in preview version 4 at the time of recording, so there were a lot of fixes done there are a lot of features added and other things like integration services and analysis services are on their to-do list. It's just that they may not be ready immediately. They might, they might not be available for the generally available version. There does seem to be a bit of a lag for things like SSAS and SSIS. If that's the case, then just go back to SSMS 20 when you need those particular products. Now, if you're new to SQL Server, then bear in mind that SSMS is the front engine. You need the back engine as well. And there will be a video on the end screen on how to install the latest version of SQL Server Developer. Now, if you would like to learn how to query SQL Server, then please go to our website, idodata.com, and go to SQL. Here you will see three courses about querying SQL Server, depending on whether you have one hour available, eight or nine hours available, or you want to become really proficient with SQL Server querying. So for more information about these courses, please go to our website, idodata.com. Well, thank you for joining me in this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please click on the like, and why not subscribe and click that bell? That way you'll be notified of any new videos. I'm Philip Burton of idodata.com. Thanks for watching and keep learning.